Hi everybody, it's Sam here and today I'm going to be showing you my brand new turn and reveal collection. So this is my very first Halloween collection. However, the main mechanism die sets will work with any collection and anything you already have in your stash. Those aren't themed, it's just the additional things like the stamps and the papers. And just to show you what the new mechanism does. So this is just one example and this one here, you just turn the dial at the bottom and the witch pops out. So whatever's on the end will pop out wherever you want, or slide out, reveal, whatever. You can have this at the bottom, on the side, on the top. It's entirely up to you and you can have it on different size cards as well. And then you just turn it back and then she disappears behind whatever it is, whether you've got something built up or if you've got smaller images, they can hide down behind here and the piece is actually longer so you can extend it. Heaps of ways to use this one. And just another example, this is a larger card. I've got the acetate on the front of this one. And then you just turn this one and the bats will pop up there. Really, really fun set, this one. I've thoroughly enjoyed making these. So what's in the new collection? So there are seven new items here to show you. So first of all is the main mechanism. So you get the five dies here. You get this extra kind of piece. You can have double popping out or you can layer it up just to make it stronger. This is your little, this is like what acts instead of a brad. You've got your little arrow there and then you've got your piece there to cut the main part for this to be able to turn. I've then got these here, which are the new easy edges. Now I've been wanting some kind of edge dies for a while. If you've been following me and you watch a lot of my lives, I'm always cutting my own piece of grass strip, for example, or making, you know, the mountains and things like that. So I wanted something, although we've launched it with Halloween and when these are all die cut in black, so it's more of a silhouette, then they do look like, you know, they're perfect for a Halloween scene. However, cut the grass in green, lighter shades, darker shades and layer them up. Really nice for all year round. These ones here look lovely Christmas time, so die cut in white. You could then imagine Father Christmas in his sleigh over the top. And the trees here, although they are bare trees, you could easily add some little leaves onto these or some flowers that you might already have in your stash. Also snip away all of these parts and you've got some nice kind of um, like little rolling hills there. Well, this one definitely, this one here could work as like the bottom of the seabed. So I've tried to make sure you can use them not just within this Halloween collection and again with this one here it's just slightly different houses that one's got more of the slope to it and then you've got a straighter one but these look great layered up and then with the grass in the front as well so lots of ways to use these and again I've made sure these are all like eight inches 20 centimeters long so they're going to work across all your cards so if you're someone that likes to make your large seven by seven eight by eight cards these are going to work but if you also then like to make your smaller size cards they're going to work there they've just got a cut line on the top and then they just go off the edge so easy for you to you know use these however you want that's the other one there so just to give you an idea on how big these are. I can't wait to do some shaker cards with these ones. I think they're going to be lovely. And I'm hoping that that's going to be the start of some more edge dies. So if those, you know, are popular and it's something you do like, then I've got some great ideas for some other ones. Then we have the stamp and die combos. So these come in these little boxes here or wallets. So you get the dies and the stamps with everything that you see on the front here. So you've got your spooky fun and you've got your haunting times. So this one here has the witch and the... Dracula in. I wanted something a little bit different. If I just take the backing out here so you can see them. I have been using these. These are my ones. But you've got the witch in the silhouette. So if you don't want to colour or you just don't like colouring, then you've got the silhouette. But then you have got the one with the detail here. And that's the one that I showed you in that sample, along with the Dracula there. He's really fun to colour in and very easy as well. And you've got some spiders. Again, you've got your silhouette spider there so again you don't need to worry about colouring but obviously a spider is easy to colour anyway it's just black or purple any other Halloween colours would look good and you can snip this piece away as well so if you don't want it with the web there then you, you don't have to there is the spider's web there you've got your speech bubble two kinds of boo and then you've got different bats there as a silhouette bat as well and then like I said all the dyes coordinate with that as well this one so you can create some scenes you've got your stamped trees here so you, these look great stamped behind this here so that's in the foreground and then you can stamp these and and do like second generation stamping in the back so you create that depth as well so it looks really good and then you've got some tombstones here you've got an old fence paneling there but again stamp that in white and it would still work for a nice little you know winter scene little cottage something like that you've got a different kind of web You've got the witch and her cauldron, then you've got the bigger cauldron. I've got that on a sample to show you. And you've got all the dies to cut that as well. 
Then we've got this one here, which I love. So don't be deceived by the size of the dies on the front here. There are so many in this one, 21 dies, that we obviously want to get them all in on the pictures. But these are nice sized dies, especially the Haunted House, which you, again, would have seen on that sample. If I just take some of these out. So here's the house. So you get the detail and you get the background. So you can die cut this one, this one here in, say, yellow, and then die cut this in black and stick them over the top and then you get the white kind of lights on kind of effect with that one. But these are all the, the different tombstones here that you get and they've got detail on them as well. So there are loads. You've got the witch there just in the silhouette. So if you are just more into your die cutting, there's loads. You've got the coffin, you've got the boo speech bubble. And then what I've done is with the pumpkins, you've got some plain pumpkins. So if you want to just create a nice autumnal scene, then just die cut the plain pumpkins. And there's a trio there so you've got a nice set so they look good together but I've also got one here with like the scary face on so if you do want to have more of the Halloween trick-or-treat then you can add that one in as well but I did want to have just plain pumpkins because I know I'm going to be using them on some nice cards for the autumn and then here again you've got a couple of different coffins there you've got the R.I.P tombstones in two sizes so it's nice to lay these up and have them crooked and they look good with the grass border Boo, Speech Bubba showed you that one. Another one there. I mean, there's loads. Still a few more in there, but you can see them all on there. And they're all on the website, so you can have a better look as well. Then the stamp set. I love a sentiment stamp set. They are so popular within the collections that I release. The, the sentiment stamp sets usually are one of the first things to go. So I wanted something that was going to have a few kind of little icons, but just some really fun pun sentiments and mix of fonts as well. I've just turned my lighting on a bit stronger there. So we've got Howl Are You. So you've got the moon there with the uh, wolf. And then you've got Watch Your Poison. Happy Halloween. Have a fabulous birthday. Boo. Witching you a happy Halloween. Best witches. Have a spectacular day. And you've got the little ravens there or the crows on the top. Delivering bugs and kisses. Fang you very much. And you've got the fangs. And then it's spooky season. And that one's one of my favourites. And the nice thing about the spooky season is you can easily just take away the bats there so if you didn't want those you can always add something else there as well but it's a lovely set really like that one and then finally i've got some wonderful scene papers so if you don't want to do any inking or blending or just making your own backgrounds then i've got some lovely ones already made for you here so it's an eight by eight pad but you can snip into these and cut different parts out i have been using this one so it might not be <laughs> in order so you've got this one here so that looks great on its own these also would look really good on the front of gift bags so i've got tons of gift bag tutorials on the channel but that if you see one of my eight by eight gift bags you could stick that on the front you could even put the mechanism on the front as well i think it would make quite a nice interactive gift bag idea but you could just cut this it looks nice as a slimline card cut right down through the middle so you have that part of the scene but you can also do a slimline so you just have that part of the scene or you can have the top there. You could just have this. You can easily cut around the top of the pumpkins there and then have that at the bottom. Lots of different ways to use it. Then we've got this one here with the bats all over. This one is great. You could just stamp a sentiment in the middle of that one. But you can also cut into this to so cut the whole thing out and then, you know, snip it down a bit more. But put that on the front of a card and have like an aperture card. But again, cut corners of it. So you could have that part at the bottom. It's entirely up to you. You've got the one here with the spider's web and then the ombre background. And then this one here. I think that's the last one, actually, isn't it? Let me just double check. Really nice fun one there with just the, all the different kind of Halloween icons dangling down there from the from the spooky clouds. I oh, know there is one more, this one here. And then you've got that scene. But again, you can just take that top portion, side portion, this part, that bit there looks nice on a six by six. So, so you've got six designs there. That's everything from the collection. I've just got a couple of loose bits here just because I'm still making samples and prepping my demos, but just to give you an idea on how they look cut as well. But that's one of the pumpkins, really nice. I've just added a little bit of brown ink there to the, the top and just the little fence. You can see how that looks coloured in, but also just because it's Halloween, you can die cut that a lot of them is just the silhouette. So that's the same there. But that would work, you know, all year round. And then look at the difference, just doing it in a black card. It looks perfect for a Halloween scene. And you can, you know, build that up behind there. You could have the pumpkins in the foreground. So really lovely little set to, um, to start building scenes and stuff. So let me show you some more samples. So I've showed you 
these two already so we'll pop those up there then i've got this one here which Gemma's done so it's another large one just to show off the lovely paper so she's built up all of the different coffins here and she's got a couple of the pumpkins and then you just turn this one here i just like this one a lot i think it's really good she's used the alcohol markers to color this one in thank you thank you very much because during the spooky season of like end of september into october people have birthdays normal life carries on so i think it's quite nice to send some fun pun cards so if you're going to send a thank you card throughout october then you know why not something like this and i know i'll be sending some out um i'm just taking them as they are so another one that gem has done here so this is a slimline version so you can see the mechanism here more towards the bottom and then she's just built up all the spiders webs there on the top i think it's brilliant and then just turn the dial and from the side you have a boo with some more of the spiders and some of the detail there and then that one just slides back on back in underneath with the happy halloween and then i've got this one here that i've done so watch your poison with the witch's cauldron and some of the pumpkins there and i just inked my own background and then up pops the witch again i love it with the acetate and i'll give you lots of hints and tips in the tutorials when i start sharing those Another one that I've done here, similar to that one, but I've done this really nice orange tone background. And you can see what I mean here with the tree. So this is the tree border. There was another tree about here, but I snipped it away just to give that more of an opening. But then I've just stamped some more of those trees in the background, built up some of the pumpkins there, and then howl are you. And then you just turn this one and some of the bats appear on that one. And then I've got this larger one here. This was more so to show off the papers in full. But like I said, you can snip into these and I will be showing different ways to do that. But I thought he looked really good at like the gates of the um, the haunted house, let's say. And then I've just stamped it directly over the, the moon there. Thank you very much. And then me and Gemma must have had similar ideas because we use pretty much the same papers and kind of theme with this one. But instead, she's got Happy Halloween. I've got it spooky season. And when you turn this one, a spider pops out the side and I've just used some accent glaze on there and I just thought it was good to use a circle die just to kind of I just gave it a completely different look so I really liked that one and then the last four samples are I asked Gemma to use the dies and stamps on past collections I, re I always say about I want the collections to work with things that you might have already purchased in the past so first up is this one here and she's used the six by six shutter die set love the papers the house that she's used the sentiments you just slide the belly band off and then when you open this one she's got the witch and that just that scene and she's done some really lovely ink bend, blending there and then boo appears in the uh the reveal there really nice style and you know if you just want to get maybe just a small part of the collection and you already have this set for example then you can create some nice cards and then this one here, witching you a happy Halloween. And then for this one, she's used the easy pop-ups. And this is brilliant. I imagine this popping out of a book. If I hold it that way, you can see it. How lovely is that? I think it's brilliant. And then she's used my funky alphabet dies there for the spooky season. And just all the detail that she's put into this one. It just looks so cool. And I love how she's used the edge dies here with the houses and those rolling kind of hills and the witch is just perfect but again look past the halloween imagine this all die cut in white obviously not the tombstones and the coffins but swap out the witch for father christmas you know or a baby's card with little boxes little abc cubes and things like that and you could have the baby um you know with the stalk flying and stuff so really really fun card that one then this one here is the fabulous shutters so this is the six by six so it's all just kept it with the silhouette stamps there so really I imagine this is quite a quick card to do delivering bugs and kisses and that one's on a side fold six by six card and then another fun one is this one here which is the swing collection obviously it's not going to swing because i've got to hold it this way but the spider swings and you've got all the spiders webs around there have a fabulous birthday and that's again on a six by six card there. I think it looks wonderful. So those are all of the samples for the turn and reveal release. I can't wait to 
officially launched this one at 12.30 today, so I will be over on the Craft Stash Facebook page. I've got two demos, so I'll be showing you some other ways to use the die set with these stamps. But like I said, if you're someone that doesn't particularly like Halloween, try and look past the Halloween theme on this and look at Christmas scenes and summer scenes and beach scenes and things like that, underwater cards, things like that. They're going to all look really, really cool. And I cannot wait to start using the mechanism on, like I said, my past collection. So if you're around at 12.30 BST today, head over to Craft Stash on Facebook. I'll link the, the direct link to the event below. Like I said, I'll be doing a couple of demos. You can join in the chat. Chances to win prizes there as well. And um, yeah, as always, this product will all be linked in the description box below. So you can go and have a, you know, a better look at it and you'll see the samples um, closer as well because they've already had their photos taken. So they will be up on the website. And yeah, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. And I'll be back again very soon with tutorials showing you other ways to use this die set and the collection. See you all soon. Bye.